Hello my loved ones, I know I haven't seen you for a while, but um, I'm not even going to try and make excuses. Uh, today I'm using the Thelema Tarot and to clarify, look out, look out wherever you are, I'm using the Rebel deck. Um, if you're sensitive, just watch the reading and don't wait for the clarifiers because they can be pretty harsh. Um, as, as I've experienced myself. Um, I'm super excited because I finally, finally got my setup right where I can read um, basically anywhere at any time and I don't have to stuff around um, with, you know, times of day and light and um, position and if anybody else is here you're not being able to do anything so that is good I am um, I've been watching a few readers lately and I don't know I don't know really what's going on, but all of them are sharing more, which I really love. They're sharing more about what they're going through and how it's affecting them so that that whoever's watching um, can get something not only from the reading, but also if the reading doesn't resonate, um, they can still get something from from the reader's experience themselves. And I really like that. Um, so, uh, a couple of, a couple of times I've thought, no, I really should, you know, just talk about this or share this, um, this thing that I'm going through. But to be honest, I wouldn't have known what to say or how to describe it or whatever. Starting to get cool here. My baby has um, has to have his coat on now. Whoop, whoop. Jeez. I just had a moment with spirit and I said, geez, you're a bit slow on the uptake. Um, are we going to get any more cards or is this going to be a very small, short reading? And they all just flew out at once, which is awesome. So now I might just ask again. this is a general reading um, it might not be for everyone but whoever it's meant for they will know and if it doesn't resonate don't worry about it the next one might be for you or check out somebody else okay so at the bottom of the deck we've got the eight of wands honestly I love this I'm right into synchronicity at the moment so let's just have a look at what this is um, behind that we've got the Ace of Wands. You've got a brand new start coming in really, really fast. Um, and it looks like you're getting an emotional offer. You might have been waiting for this. Um, yeah, you were. You've been waiting for this because here you are, Four of Cups. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, I've had that all before. Here comes another one. I really don't. I'm not interested in it. I'm sick of this. Uh, give me something new. Here comes something new. It's an offer. It's a young offer. It's a brand new offer. Um, and it, it's not... Oh. No barking. That's my baby trying to learn not to bark. So he's doing very well. Normally he would have been yelling the house down, but he's learning. Um, this is a young offer. This is a tentative offer I would say with with hope this person's coming in with hope but they're still a bit unstable on their feet because they're young 
um, but it is going to be passionate and it's going to start a whole new flame maybe the flame had died out but it's coming and it's coming fast so let's have a look what the other cards are going to tell us of the story oh yeah something was taken here comes something new um oh that caused some serious shit going on um It looks good. So, to start with, someone stole something. They snuck out in the dead of night. Um, yeah leaving you with a decision now. I don't know how much about tarot you know, but here's the Seven of Swords. And in this particular deck, um, there's two swords left on the ground. Now, to me, if you know the tarot, the, the Two of Swords is someone blindfolded with two swords crossing their heart. They have a decision to make and it's not a pleasant one. So, this action, this this thieving, stealing, sneaking action leads to an uncomfortable decision to be made. Um, this gave you a whole heap of sleepless nights, um, worry, concern, heartbreak, depression. What do I do now? What am I supposed to do? Do I what? the Anyway, um... Now th this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be work. Someone could have, someone could have stolen your idea. They could have snuck out and t taken credit for your work, or they could have stolen a job behind your back. This could be um, familial, as in you know a family member could have done something uh, like this. But either way, the the piggy in the middle, so to speak is is the knight of swords coming in loud and clear with a truth and if you look at this one he is galloping galloping forward with the truth absolutely bringing it in and maybe it was the truth of this occurring who did it and and who left you in this state that that came in really fast that that kind of knocked you off your own horse because in the middle here you are you're the eight of cups you are walking away you are sick of all the bullshit that's gone on and you are moving forward you are really stepping away from it you like all the secrets have come out under the full moon and um, I'm sick of it so I'm moving on I'm really moving on so in order to help you do that you are going to now embrace the magician you are going to become the magician you are going to realize that while you've been torturing yourself over this um, this truth that came out you have this underlying magic and ability that you have forgotten about. Now that could be your stature at work. You're, in, you know, if someone steals something from you at work, then you've obviously got intelligence and abilities um, that they don't have. Otherwise, they wouldn't have had to steal it from you. So, all that angst and heartbreak and decision making and everything means that you forgot that about yourself you forgot your own abilities your own worth and strength in order to create whatever environment you want so i think by walking away from this emotional heartbreak you, you you've realized that underlying all of this is is you the magician the magician of the, the 
captain of your own destiny. Um, and so you're going to refocus on what it is that you want. And you want the four of wands. I mean, who doesn't? You want stability. You want community, compatibility, groundedness. You want passion in your life. Um, and peace, lots and lots of peace. Because while these doves could mean um, a, a loving relationship, which a lot of you might want, it can also mean the doves of peace. So ultimately you want peace over this, this new, um, new wish that you're going to work on manifesting through being the magician. I mean, this could be a stable new job. It could be anything but it is a celebration of this so it's it's an achievement of your heart's desire and um the outcome of that is going to be the ace of pentacles so it's a brand new start could be a new job could be a grounded new relationship you know the opening of the gates towards a bright new future sounds lovely and let's hope that whatever it is you've gone through you can look at as a blessing in disguise through this new start. Now let's clarify first of all what this was. What was the 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 thing? What was the thief? What was the thief that broke you down into sleepless nights and so what truth did we need to overcome that in order to move away? What was that? Sometimes these cards, they, they're fantastic. I love them. In a reading I did just previous to this, um, for the past and the future, they flew out when I had a question. But for the, the current situation, it was nothing. A bit like now. Nothing. Um, you don't need to know anything and maybe that's maybe that's the whole point don't go back over it the truth's come out you're over your sleepless nights you've you've got the answer you've refound yourself you're walking away to something bright new shiny day and um, you'll step through these gates okay so is there anything we need to know to avoid tripping over our own feet again. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Ah, fuck fear. It will lie to your face. So there you go. Don't live in this because that's fear of what if. What if this happens again? What if I'm not good enough? What if you know, there's more to come, blah de blah de blah What if I'm not actually this magician? And all those horrible negative fear-based traps and, and things. So, fuck fear. You are the magician. Get into that. Get into that. You are the, the creator of your own destiny and your own world and your own environment. Walk away from this emotional shit and heartbreak and take a breather from it. And, and go towards what you want. Create a vision board or something that will give you the impetus to go towards what you want because ultimately this is worth getting over your own fears. It's worth walking away from your fears. It is worth everything that fear will hold you back from. And don't forget, it's coming in fast, passionately. So get on to that because it's friggin' awesome. And don't waste your time questioning and being afraid of all the nasty, nasty what ifs. Take it into your own hands, create what you want, put it out there and manifest it and know your own worth. Go forth, my little magicians. And um, yay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Love lots. Hugs, kisses. And hopefully I'll learn how to edit stuff before too much longer. Bye.